So in the previous two lessons, we've created a histogram and a probability density graph. So the histogram represents our actual data. The probability density graph represents our data, in including both the mean and the standard deviation, if we had a normal distribution. So we can see our probability density graph on this page and our histogram on this page. And you can see that the shape of the histogram is roughly normal and it appears that there's a, a normal distribution of our total PPE data. But it might be helpful to see both of these in one graph. So we're going to try to overlay the histogram onto this probability density graph. And so we can add the data from our histogram. So we'll go back to our previous page and add the same data, our bins and our frequency. And the first thing we'll notice is the blue line shows up very thin and at the bottom is because the scales are much different. So in our histogram, we have frequencies that, that go up in the 40s, but we see in our probability density graph, we have very small numbers. So we need to create a secondary vertical axis. So if we format the data series and add it to the secondary axis, we now can see both of these lines together. And looking at these together, the hypothesis is supported that the PPE data does have a normal distribution looking across the school systems in North Carolina. And so again, this is how we combine the probability density graph and the histogram. And this can be edited. We can add axis titles so that we know what we're looking at. So this is the total PPE for child nutrition, and this is in dollars on our x-axis. On our primary, our left vertical axis, this is our probability mass function. And in our other vertical axis, This is the frequency of observations. And one final thing we might want to do with this graph, we currently are showing both as a line, but in actuality the histogram is, is not really a, a continuous line. It's, it's really best suited as a bar graph, so we might want to show it that way, which is a more appropriate way to display that data. And we can do that by changing the series chart type after we, we click on our histogram data. And this gives us choices. Um, we're going to change that histogram to a column chart. And so now this more appropriately shows this. Now we can compare and look at how well these bars line up with our uh, theoretical normal distribution based on our mean and standard deviation given from our actual data. And you can see it, it does have a very a normal distribution and it fits that model pretty well. Uh, you can see places places where it is a little different and these graphs aren't exactly lined up because uh, the way the histo the histogram is actually shown but you can see they're they're generally follow uh, the normal distribution.